What's up guys, welcome back to another video. For those of you new here, my name's Dalton. What I do is I resell gently used and new shoes on platforms like Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. And in today's video, I wanted to go over vacation holds and specifically how to turn them on. Uh, tomorrow morning I'm leaving, I'm gonna be out of town for about five days and I figured this would be a good opportunity to show you guys what to do if you're leaving town and you can't get your items shipped out in the time that the certain platforms give you. So again, the three platforms that I use to sell on is Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. I'm gonna start off uh, going over Mercari, then Poshmark, and then lastly we'll do eBay because Poshmark and Mercari are super simple. They're just a couple buttons that you click and then your basically your store becomes inactive. On eBay, it doesn't quite work like that, so we'll get into that towards the later end of the video. But for now, I will plug in my phone right here so you guys can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. All right, so when you open up the Mercari app, you'll just wanna uh, go to your listings, hit see all right there. And then when you get your listings all pulled up, you'll just hit edit at the top right corner. And then in the bottom left, it says select all. And then in the middle, it says deactivate. And what that does is basically marks everything in your store as inactive or not for sale. And that's really it. And with Mercari, you have three days to ship out your item. So basically, you just need to go back in and do the exact same process two to three days before you get back to town, uh, which is what I like to do. So I'm not missing out on sales while I'm away when I will be back in time to ship them before the three days is up. So next we'll pop over into Poshmark and it's basically just as simple as Mercari, just a couple extra steps. You'll go down to your at name in the bottom right corner. You'll scroll down to where you see my seller tools. You'll click on that and there'll be a button that says vacation hold. Click that and then just turn that on. Then it'll give you the option to put in your beginning and ending date. And Poshmark is just like Mercari. You have three days to ship your items out. You can push it because Poshmark will let you, if you go past the three day mark on Poshmark, it basically says, yes, I'm going to ship this and it'll give you an extra two days to ship. I personally don't like doing that. I tend to turn my, my closet back on two days before I get back. So I'm not using up the full three day threshold, but I'm still turning it back on so I'm not missing out on potential sales. So I'm gonna put this as ends on July 11th, which is two days before I'll be back. And then you'll hit save in the top right corner, confirm, and that's it. So as you can see, Poshmark and Mercari are very simple. Um, but eBay, on the other hand, is eBay, so they make, like to make things difficult. We'll have to go into the desktop to do this, so I'm gonna record everything on my screen and walk you guys through that one as well. All right, so once you pull up eBay.com, you'll wanna go up to My eBay in the top right corner and click on Selling. Then it'll pull up your uh, sales page. The uh, Vacation Hold setting is under Marketing, under the Marketing tab. So just click on Marketing. Um, then over on the right hand side, you'll see the option that says vacation settings right here. Now I've already got mine turned on, but you'll basically scroll down to where it says vacation settings. You'll check the box that says turn on obviously. Um, it makes you put in a message. I just like to say something along the lines of what you see here. Thank you for your interest in the item. Just heads up, I'm away for the weekend. Any orders placed will be shipped on Wednesday, July 15th. Just make sure that you let them know exactly what day that the item they purchase will be shipped out. And I also like to check the box that says show people the day you'll be back. Uh, so that way when they click on your listing at the very top, it's gonna say seller is currently away. Uh, they will return on whatever date you put in that box. So just enter the date that you'll be back, hit apply. And one thing that a lot of people don't realize the first time they do this, I made this mistake, I've seen many other people make this, make this mistake, is they think that once they do that, that is all they have to do. It is not true. If you have the handling time for your items set on one business day or same business day or whatever you have it on, you'll need to change it, which is just another one of those tedious steps that eBay throws into the mix. So you'll once again need to go up to my eBay, and click on selling. For this, we'll go to listings in the top left corner, go to active, and we'll scroll down and we will click the edit box and then say edit all 240 listings or however many listings you have up. This might take just a minute. And then if you click this, this box right here, it'll automatically select every single listing. Then you go to edit fields, and then you'll come down to handling time. Then you just click on the drop down box, click change to, select the handling time. And then for this, you'll do however long you're gonna be gone. If you're gonna be gone for 10 days, you'll do 10 business days. I'm only gonna be gone away for five business days, so I'm gonna change the handling time to five business days. You're gonna save and close. And the one good thing about eBay is you can change your handling time while you're away. So say that you are gonna be away for 10 business days. While you're on vacation or wherever you're at, 
after five days have passed, you can go back into your eBay listings, change your handling time to five business days. That'll give it a better chance for your items to sell because you, you know buyers like to see see items with the quickest handling times because we're so used to Amazon these days, next, next day shipping, same day shipping. The faster they can get their item, the better. So like what I like to do when I'm on vacation is after a couple days passed, I'll change my handling time. And when I'm down to my last few days on vacation, I'll change it every single day. So if I know I'm gonna be back in four business days, I'll make sure I change my handling time to four business days. The next day when I wake up, I'll change it to three, next day to two until I'm back home and I'll be back at one. You just really need to make sure that your handling time is accurate. You cannot just rely on checking the um, vacation hold box because if you only put your store on vacation mode and you do not change the handling time in your listings, every time something sells, it goes into the system as this item is a one day handling time item and if you don't get it shipped out in one business day or whatever you have it set to, you will get a ding on your account and it'll go in as a late shipment. So you need to go in there and edit every, every single listing to make sure that the handling time on each listing reflects how long you are going to be gone. And then when you get back to town, you can just change it back to, back to normal. So I hope some of you got something out of this video. I know I did not understand, especially the eBay part. I did not understand how that worked when I first started. The first time I went on vacation, I didn't change my handling time and I had several late shipments on my account and that affected my on-time shipment rate and took just that much longer for me to become a top rated seller. So I hope some of you weren't aware of this and it helped you out and you know what to do when you're going on vacation in the future. And as always, if you have any questions at all, please leave them down in the comments. I'll respond to every single one of them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of this kind of content, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And as always, I will see you in the next video.